Hello, good night, teacher. Hey, Astrid, how are you doing? How are you? I'm fine. Awesome. Yes, and you? I'm good, I'm good. A bit, a bit cold. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I have a sweater today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's been good. Calcetines. Um, socks. I, I put, as I say, I put a calcetine. Yes, or uh, I put on socks, or I wear socks. I, I wear, I, I wear socks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me too. And and um uh, and a sweater too. <laughs> yes, it's good. What about you? Uh, hello, Amilcar. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Is what about you? Do you have a call? Yes, I am. <laughs> I was I was talking to Astrid that I'm wearing a sweater today. Because I'm a bit cold. <laughs> very cold. Yes, it is. It is and very windy. Yes. Uh, very windy too. Yes. The, um, today when I got home, uh, I wasn't expecting the door closing on my face. <laughs> La puerta de tan fuerte que estaba el viento se me cerró en la cara. Um, wow. Yes, and I was like, ay. <laughs> Tuve que pedir ayuda porque traía varias cosas y no podía abrir la puerta. Oh. Yes, yes. I was like, okay, no quieren que entre a la casa. <laughs> yes, yes, we need to be careful. Yes, that's correct. Um, but still good, a good thing. Yes, being in the cold, estar en el ladito. <laughs> en el pital, I was reading that Right now it's like uh, nine degrees. Nine, was it nine or five? It was nine or five degrees Celsius. So como cinco o nueve grados en el pital. Can you imagine? Wow. <laughs> Terrible. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, it sounds good, but being in that place with that coldness is not, it's not that funny either. Yes, se escucha bien chivo, pero está en el lado. Yes, it's yes, pero igual. I I rather be in the cold than than being in a hot weather. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Weather is very very nice. It is. It is very nice. I like it. I like the weather over there. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about the rest? What about Vicky, Gerardo, Patricia, Marcela, Mayra? How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Awesome, Thanks. Gerardo and Vicky. You're welcome. I'm good as well. Thank you for asking. Okay. In teacher in Cuyua City, in Cuyua City is 16 grades. 16. <laughs> Yes, it's pretty cold. Yes, where you are. Uh, also a paneca, right? If I'm not mm, mistaken, yes. it's it's cold too. I can only imagine how cold it is over there. Yes. Have you have you visited those places, guys? When it's cold? Ya han visitado esos lugares cuando hace frío. Maybe a paneca or where you are. Uh -huh. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> yes, when I go, when, when if it's cold and I go there, um, I wear like a sweater or two, one or two sweaters and jeans maybe. Yes, and, and double thick. jeans. Double <laughs> jeans, <laughs> yes. Double yes. socks. <laughs> That's correct, double socks. Double everything, yeah. <laughs> double sheer, <laughs> double everything, and a, and a and a hat. I have a lot of hats, by the way. I love to really to wear them. Yes, actually, I was wearing now one. Do you want me to show you? I have two. <laughs> I have this one, and I have this one that is super sick. Nice. <laughs> yes, I like them. 
your, yeah, your the... childhood. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a child at the heart, guys. Soy una okay. niña del corazón todavía. Ah, wow. <laughs> uh, no, mentiras. <laughs> no, la verdad yeah, que yeah. sí. I like all those things. And, I mean, they're, they're cool, but if it's cold, your head uh, remains warm. La cabecita se mantiene caliente. And, yeah. I mean, some <laughs> doctors say that it's that you need to uh, wear all of those things. Usar todas esas cosas so you don't get sick. Right? Mm -hmm. So, yes. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm glad that everybody's here now. Okay, so let's start. I'm happy, guys, that you're here today with me. We're almost done with this week. Today is Wednesday, right? This is how some people call it the, the belly of the week, right? The belly button of the week. El ombligo de la semana, right? So we're in the middle of the week. Uh, just a reminder, guys, that um, we don't have classes on Friday, all right? Esta semana sí no tenemos clases el viernes because we already finished with that, all right? Just yes, tomorrow. Just tomorrow, that's correct. So let's say that tomorrow is our Friday, <laughs> right? Mañana es nuestro viernes de las clases, right? <laughs> that's correct. So um, I already reported, guys, the issues you sent me. If you present more issues on the platform, send them to me with the screenshots so we can report that to technical support, okay? De los problemas que me comentaron ayer, ya están reportados. Me dicen si siguen teniendo problemas. Si siguen teniendo problemas, por favor, mandenme screenshots um, de, de, de lo que les esté dando en la plataforma para que los pueda eh, reportar con soporte técnico, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Right. You're welcome. Um, how are you doing with the platform, guys? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Good. Good? Awesome, just, then. Just five, uh, just five sections. All right, you're almost done, then. Ya que se termina. Oh, yes, how do you say me falta? Me falta. I'm, I'm missing, y de ahí dice que le falta. Lo voy I a Okay, okay, I'm missing five sections, only that. And awesome. Five. Yes. That's cool. Yes, awesome. Yes, as I said, guys, you can you can get ahead of all the content and that that's okay, all right? Lo voy a poner aquí. Adelantar, right? You can get ahead on the content, right? And it's okay if you, and it's even better because if you have any issues with anything, you already know how to solve it, right? And to help other people too. So uh, it's good if you finish it now. It's okay if you're not on section five. Está bien si todavía no van en section cinco, pero si ya lo terminaron el curso, eh, no hay problema, all right? No, no sé si ya les he mencionado que no es como in, in other courses that you cannot access the content, right? Porque está bloqueado, acá no. Acá ustedes pueden adelantar todo, todo lo que ustedes quieren, right? Like Astrid mentioned, she just, she's just missing five, um, she's just missing five contents, right, Astrid? Yes. Okay, awesome. So you're just missing those five and the final exam. No. Or is this from the final exam? Okay, creo que no se escuchó. That's okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, it's okay. Um, so you're just missing the final exam and the five contents. No. I miss you. No, como. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, que le falta el, uh, el examen final. Yeah. Todo eso le falta. I miss No, right. no. Eh, totally section. Ah, okay. So the whole section five plus the exam. La sección cinco y el exam. Ah, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. All right, awesome. Pero igual, va bien adelantada. Perfecto. Thank you very much. I don't Astrid. begin. I don't begin. Se dice, no comienzo aún. Uh, I have not started that yet. Okay. Have not started that yet. Ahí está. Ya aún no ha comenzado eso. Ah, no he comenzado eso. Yes. Yes. All right then. 
So guys, today it will be a little bit more practical. Um, I want you to, well, we will practice simple past, right? You already know what is simple past, guys? ¿Se recuerdan qué es el pasado simple? Simple past. Was. Was. No. Mm -hmm. Was. <laughs> Is the past, right? Is the simplest of the past, right? El pasado. Más simple, más simple, right? Es, um, es el más sencillo, por decirlo así. Okay? So, simple past, um, but today will be only with regular verbs. All right? Hoy. Vamos a practicar, practicar, I'm sorry, only regular verbs, ¿ok? Mañana, yes, mañana vamos a practicar los irregulares. By the way, I will send you a document, guys, uh, on WhatsApp with all the irregular verbs um, um, in their present, simple, past simple, and past participle. Y pasado participio, all right? Se lo puede enviar después de que termine la clase, okay? Uh, acerca de los irregulares, right? Because regular verbs, do you know, I mean, if you're not on section 4.3, it's okay. Esto lo van a encontrar en la sección 4.3. It's okay if you're not there yet. Está bien si todavía no están ahí, right? But um, lo vamos a repasar ahorita, ¿sí? So, with um, with simple past, guys, most verbs. Vamos a poner acá. Most verbs um, and uh, the past tense. Vamos a poner aquí. The past tense is formed by adding. By adding qué? Se recuerdan qué se les agrega al final? Alguien que sepa? Pasado. Mm. There you go. Perfect. So hey. most verbs. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Amazing, guys. Thank you very much. So most verbs in the past tense is formed by adding ed. For example, let's do some examples. Called. Right? Llamado. O que llamé. Some place, right? Um, like, right? Like, like. Liked. That's correct. Um, play, right? El verbo, el verbo preferido de los maestros de inglés, <laughs> right? Play, played. Um, let's see, work, right? Worked, right? Work, um, can you give me one more example, guys? <laughs> Think of it, of any verb, and then add ed. Work. Which one? Work, uh, de caminar, work. Oh, thank you. Want. Uh, mm -hmm. Want. Uh, that's right. Wanted, right? Loved. Loved, too. What was the other uh, one? Both, Anna. By, no. Oh, yes. By is, is a regular. It's a regular, yes. Um, cooked. Cooked. Yes. Escuché a alguien más, pero no lo escuché bien. Uh, As Asked. Asked. This? No, no. Ah, ask. Yes, yes, yes. Ask. Uh, talk. It's talk. Fine. Yes, that's right. Talk. Um, uno más, dígame. Uno más. Great. Great. Right? Este? Yes. Um, yes, no. but that is irregular. Uh, irregular. El pasado de este sería written. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, or growth. Mm -hmm. Dependiendo de qué pasado está utilizando. Teacher, study, irregular. Which one? Study, study. Estudiar, de estudiar. Study. Study, study. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. 
Pero ahí se cambia la Y por um, Ajá. la I. That's correct. Um, mañana les puedo enseñar las reglas de cuándo intentan cambiar esa letra. All right? Porque hay una, hay una regla en la gramática donde uh -huh. dice uh, when, to, when to change the last letter of the verb. Okay? Pero sí, sí es regular. Solo que le cambiamos en lugar de que haya una Y acá, instead of a Y, we change it for an I. No es siempre, pero en este caso sí, sí pasa. All right? So, um, beat. Beat, no. Beat. No, beat, beat de morder. Oh, beat. Este es irregular y sería lo mismo en pasado beat. simple y participio. Yes, beat, beat, beat. beat. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Um, quiero ver. Work. Ah, ya lo pusimos. Work. Ya lo pusimos. Drink. Uh, drink. Ah, uh, no. No, no. No, drunk. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't worry. Um, enjoy, por ejemplo. I enjoyed, yeah. Mm -hmm. En este solo se agrega la ed, ¿all right? Eh, uh -huh. Rapidito, digamos. ¿Cuándo vamos a cambiar la y? Cuando termine eh, en y y antes de la y haya una consonante. Si hay una consonante se cambia por la y. Si hay una vocal se deja la y, ¿all right? Si se fijan, aquí hay una consonante, aquí hay una vocal. En la vocal no se cambió la Y, en la consonante se cambió la Y por la Y. All right, ¿Se fijaron? Yes. Ok, then. Quedémonos con esos. Um, quedémonos con esos ejemplos. Todavía. Right? Oh, okay. ok. All right. So, we use the past tense. What do you think we use the past tense for, guys? ¿Para qué creen que utilizamos el pasado? Adivinen. <laughs> All right. Talking about the past, right? And most of the time we use it. All right, lo voy a poner de otro color. We use it to talk about something. All right. Something that happened in the past once. Do you know what is the word once? Una vez. Perfecto. La vamos a poner así. All right. So we use it to talk about something that happens once in the past. For example, uh, who is married from here? ¿Quién es casado de acá? Me. All right. When did you meet your wife? ¿Cuándo conoció a su esposa? ¿Se acuerda más o menos del año? Oh my God. Ah, <laughs> que no se escuchó. No, mentira. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unbelievable. I knew her well. I, I had um, more or less uh, 12 years. <laughs> 12 years? So that would be about more or less 2008? 1985, more or less. 1985. Okay, that's a lot of time. Awesome. All right. So, for example, Amilcar can say, I met my wife in 1985, right? That just happened once. Oh, no. Pasó una vez. No es que la volvió a conocer cinco años después y de ahí la volvió a conocer otros cinco años después, right? Solo se conoce una persona una vez. Um, <laughs> it depends. <laughs> that's, yes. <laughs> I don't worry. <laughs> But the Amuki is the Astrid. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, <laughs> so he met uh, his wife in 1985, right? In this case, this would be a verb irregular. This is only for the example, right? But we use a verb regular. Hello, Dave. I'm sorry. No había visto el chat. <laughs> Hi, Dave. All right. Um, me dejaron en visto. Mm -hmm. That would be. How do you say resentido? Um, I forgot, but lo que él, uh -huh. uh, ese, ese sería, you left me on scene. Mm. Left me. Ahí está. <laughs> Re, or, or resentful? It's not exist. Resentful? Oh, yeah. Resentful. Yes, it exists. Yes, resentful. it can be resentful. Or, uh, it's yes. It's resentful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they. 
it, what happens is that you got in late. Se unió tarde, por eso. Los que se unen tarde no los saludan. No, mentiras. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so for example, guys, uh, another example will be, um, I called, um, I called to Pizza Hut, right? La P tendría que ser mayúscula, ¿verdad? Pizza Hut, right? And I never called again. Digamos que ya nunca más llamé a Pizza Hut because uh, I got scared, <laughs> right? So, something that happens once in the past. Also, no, sola vez, no solamente para hablar de una cosa que pasó una vez. You can also um, talk about, um, use, use simple past, that something. La vamos a copiar de aquí, pero. Several times in the past, right? No necesariamente que haya pasado una sola vez, right? For example, um, okay, when I was, I was a kid, I used to walk, um, no, el used to todavía no lo hemos visto. I walked, all right? I walked. Uh, a mile to school. No caminaba tanto para la escuela, pero digamos que sí. All right. When I was a kid, I walked a kilometer to school. Right. Caminaba un kilómetro más o menos para 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 llegar a, a, a la escuela. Right. And this happened every day. Right. Pasaba todos los días. Right. Can you give me another example, guys? Hmm. Puede ser con cualquiera de esos verbos que tenemos ahí. Uh -huh. I talked. I talked uh, with my neighbor. Awesome. I talked with my neighbors, right? That is correct. That can happen several times, right? Eso puede pasar varias veces, no just one time in the past. Yo, yo hablé, ¿verdad? Yo hablé con mm -hmm. mis vecinos. That is correct. Yo hablé con mis vecinos. Yesterday. No, it's not necessary. Yes, you can say it. Okay. I talked with my neighbors yesterday, right? No, en este caso no hay problema. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, también, we used to talk uh, sometimes we use it to talk about something. Right. We use it to talk about something that was true. That was true for some time in the past. A qué se refiero con esto? De que hubo un tiempo de que eso fue verdad. ¿A qué me refiero con esto? For example, have you lived abroad, guys? ¿Ya han vivido afuera del país? Oh, Jorge. Jorge, you are from Costa Rica, right? Is it Jorge here? No sé si Jorge está por acá. Ok, pero no vamos a ocupar a él, porque es el que conozco que está aquí, que vivió, eh, que es fuera del país. All right? So, for example, Jorge... No, vamos a hacerlo como que estamos hablando en primera persona, right? I lived, digamos que él regresó a Costa Rica. I lived abroad for 10 years. Y digamos que eso fue el tiempo que él vivió acá en El Salvador, right? Abroad is regresar, abroad. Abroad? Esto es como que usted diga en el extranjero. Extranjero. Oh. Uh -huh. I lived abroad for 10 years. Right? So when Jorge gets back to Costa Rica, he will say, uh, I lived abroad 
uh, for 10 years. You say it abroad when you don't want to say the country you were in. All right. Decimos abroad cuando no decimos el país en el que estuvimos. Uh, But you can also mention, um, se puede decir así, miren. I lived in El Salvador, for example, or puede ser cualquier país, for years, right? Y dicen la cantidad de años. It can be for four years, for one year, for three months, not necessarily years, right? Or it can be any country too. It can be, uh, y también no, no es necesario que sea países. You mm -hmm. can also say, for example, I lived in, ¿qué? Chalaten, Chalatenango, Chalatenango, ay Dios mío, ay. me trajo toda, sorry. <laughs> I lived in Chalatenango for what? Five years, right? Oh, five years. Pueden ponerlo en número o en letras. For five years, right? I lived in Chilatenango for five years. No es necesario que, que utilicen esa palabra de lived para referirse al extranjero, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, y el último, guys. Déjenme mover esto más por arriba. Para que me quepa el último. All right. And the last one. Esta... Ya la han escuchado más de una vez y la vamos a ver ahorita. We often, we often use the expression ago. Ya han escuchado que dicen ago cuando la gente habla de pasado. All right. We use, we often use expressions. Expressions with ago, with the past. Uh, with the simple past, right? For example, um, vamos a utilizar la de que conocí a mi esposa, como dijo Amilcar, right? Si él no quiere decir o no se recuerda, <laughs> I made my wife a long time ago, right? Because it's a long time ago, right? Y pueden terminar la oración así, a long time ago. Ago. Y ago refers to the past. All right. Y el ago se refiere al pasado. Ok. So, vamos a poner esto por acá. Ok. Eso. Something that happened in the past. Something that happened several times in the past. Something that was true for some time in the past. And we use it with expressions, all right? Y lo utilizamos con expresiones también. Puede ser para cualquiera de esas cosas. Si se fijan, no es, it's not just for one thing. It can be for several things. It can be for something that just happened once. It can be for something that happened several times. It can be for something that was true for some time in the past. And you can use it with expressions such as ago, right? I met my wife a long time ago. I wanted an MP3 player a long time ago. Um, I asked my parents for permissions a long time ago. I talked to my parents a long time ago, right? I studied for the exam a long time ago, <laughs> right? So it can be for anything. Pretty much there are a lot of things you can use it for. Right? Lo podemos utilizar para muchas cosas. So far so good, guys. Estamos, sienten que está, um, that is okay, the explanation. Gustarían que se la vuelva a explicar o sienten que está claro. How do you feel, guys? You can explain again. Yes, I can. Sorry. So. Por ejemplo, ahorita como estamos viendo, solo los verbos regulares. Esta que ocupé acá solo es para que vean la diferencia, right? But regular verbs. With regular verbs, you just add ed at the end. Con los regulares, para pasado simple y cualquier pasado con los verbos regulares, solo le agregan el ed, all right? For example, cold, cold, like, liked, play, played work, worked, woke, 
Walked, wanted, wanted, right? Love, loved. Cook, cooked. Ask, asked. Por cierto, se me olvidó mencionarles algo, guys. La pronunciación. If the pronunciation of the word ends with a vibration on your throat, si la pronunciación del verbo finaliza como con una vibración en la garganta, for example, enjoy. Can you feel this vibration here? Enjoy. Enjoy. Feel the verb. Say it. Diana no says. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh -huh. Say it. Feel here. Enjoy. Enjoy. Dice en la pronunciación final con D. Enjoy. 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 Uh -huh. Pero si termina así como seco, como work. Enjoy. Uh, work. work. El k -k, right? Termina como seco, no hay vibración acá. Work. 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 Ajá. Work. Entonces, cuando termina así, es donde se dice como con T. Worked. Ajá. Worked. Worked. Ajá. Wanted. Right? Um, cooked. Con T. Cooked. Si termina con vibración, es como enjoy o como play. You say play in the, con D. All right? Bueno, gracias. Enjoyed, played, right? Awesome. So, you can use it for several things. Una de las cosas porque la pueden ocupar para mencionar algo que pasó una vez en el pasado. For example, I met my wife in 1985, dijo Amilcar, right? He just met her once, right? Or for example, if you know your friend, think of a friend. Piensa en un amigo que tengan, cualquier amigo. No necesariamente tiene que ser el mejor de los amigos, pero un conocido. All right? You just met that person once. Solo una vez conocieron a esa persona. Luego le siguieron hablando. Right? You can also to, uh, use it to talk about something that happened several times in the past. También lo pueden utilizar para hablar de cosas que pasó un montón de veces. Por ejemplo, yo les ponía un ejemplo. When I was a kid, I walked a kilometer to school every day. Right? Cuando éramos niños, generalmente caminábamos o nos llevaban a la escuela, right? Um, y uh, eh, si era, eso era de todos los días, right? So, it happened several times in the past. Entonces, quiere decir que pasó varias veces en el pasado, right? When I was a kid, I walked a kilometer to school every day, right? You also use it to talk about something that was true for some time in the past, right? Cuando hablamos acerca de algo que era verdadero por un periodo de tiempo en el pasado, right? Por ejemplo, si ustedes vivieron, um, digamos que vivieron un, un periodo de tiempo en San Salvador y ahora viven en Santa Ana, por ponerles un ejemplo. Entonces, fue cierto que hubo un periodo de tiempo que ustedes vivieron en San Salvador, right? Y pueden decir, I lived in San Salvador for, y dicen, más o menos el periodo de tiempo por el que vivieron, right? Y les pongo un ejemplo ahí. I lived in Chalatenango for five years. Nunca he vivido en Chalatenango, eso solo es un ejemplo, right? Or teacher. Mm -hmm. Or in my in in my case, I I lived in Mexicanos for okay. 14 years ago. Okay. And yes, now that's... I I live in San Salvador. Okay, so that's true, right? That was true in the past. Eso era cierto en el pasado. You used to live in Mexicanos. No, you don't live in Mexicanos, right? Now you live in San Salvador. See? So that's a perfect example. Thank you, Astrid. Okay. Un ejemplo perfecto. Yes. But also, you can use it with expressions, right? Pero también lo puedo utilizar con expresiones. No necesariamente las tiene que llevar todas las oraciones en pasado, pero las pueden ocupar porque las expresiones son algo normal de los de los idiomas, right? So, una de las expresiones más comunes it's a go. O oh, no. Se escucha un montón la palabra a go. I met my wife a long time ago. I called to Pizza Hut um, five minutes ago, right? So, este a long time. Vamos a wait. Quiero ver qué Se puede cambiar literalmente por cualquier cosa, right? I called Pizza Hut 
five minutes ago, right? Y el ago siempre iría al final después de decir el periodo de tiempo, all right? Five minutes ago, one hour ago. Um, 45 minutes ago, right? Y no viene la pizza todavía, <laughs> right? So you can change it for pretty much anything, all right? Utilicemos otros ejemplos. Por ejemplo aquí, something that happened once, right? For example, that it will be, it will be Christmas, right? So, but ya va a ser Navidad. And when I was a kid, I wanted, um, what do you want for Christmas, guys, when you were kids? Get algo que quisieron para Navidad cuando eran niñitos. For example, I wanted... reventar cohetes. <laughs> that would be, uh, I wanted to... Oh, no. Really? I wanted to use firecrackers. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Ajá, uh -huh. así se dice, cohetes. Ah, <laughs> uh, firecrackers. Yeah. Firecrackers. Yes, my high school, yes. Okay, I perfect. Awesome. So, for example, what I wanted for Christmas when I was a kid was I wanted a RC car. Do you know what is that? On remote controller car, right? Now I'm putting it key. Remote control car, right? Or, for example, when I was a kid, I wanted... Um, a dog for Christmas. Yeah. Christmas. Now I have one, pero cuando estaba chiquita quería un perro. A mi mamá no le gustaba. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I wanted a dog for Christmas. Once. I have four, four dogs. Really? <laughs> awesome. And yes, nine, love. Cats. nine cats. That's cool. I love animals. I will, I will be happy there. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So, for example, that happened once, right? Now I have a dog, and and I'm and I'm and I'm okay, right? So something that happened several times in the past, right? For example, I played soccer, right? That happens a lot of times. Eso pasó un montón de veces. I played soccer at school, um, at my at home at pretty much everywhere, right? It's okay, Dave, don't worry. Exacto, como, como dice Dave, when I was a kid, uh, when I was a kid, I walked to school one kilometer every day. Exacto, that happens a, a lot of times, not just one. Firecrackers, firecrackers, it's like saying in Spanish, um, cuetes, pólvora. Mm -hmm. Firecrackers, pólvora, right? Awesome. Sorry. Es que está escribiendo por el chat, babe. All right. So, ¿qué pasó un montón de veces en el pasado? I played soccer, right? No, vamos a poner de otro color. I played soccer at home. No necesariamente en casa, puede ser en cualquier lado. Or just mention it, right? O solo mencionar lo que pasó, um, que pasó varias veces, right? ¿Qué otra cosa puede haber pasado? Utilicemos otro verbo. Um, I studied, studied English, right? Eso no pasó solo una vez, ¿ok? Pasó un montón de veces, right? ¿Sí o no? Yes, a lot of time. That's correct. Thank you. <laughs> That's correct. So it happens a lot of times, several times in the past. Now, uh -huh. what about something that was true for some time in the past? Ya, vi, ya hablamos de vivir. Hablamos de otra cosa. For example, I... Oh, le voy a poner un ejemplo mío. I loved raisins. Right? Ahora no me gustan. Do you know what is raisins? Uh, I don't know. I, okay. I, I don't remember. Ah, pasas. Pasas, yes. right? Yes, I love them. Are some but fair. I don't love them anymore. <laughs> Yo a mí no, ya no me gustan, pero me, me gustaban, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces, como dije, me gustaban, right? I It was them. true. Fue verdad en, en, un tiempo, en un periodo en el pasado, o no? I loved 
raisins. I don't love them anymore. Ya no me gustan más, right? I love anymore. Mm -hmm. Ahora, anymore. anymore. That's right. <laughs> I don't love them anymore. Coqueto, en que ser coqueto. That's right. That's right. So, for example, para hacer las negativas, es bien fácil, guys. ¿Cómo creen que se hacen negativas? Eh, I not. Ajá. En este caso, hay una palabrita extra que tenemos que utilizar aparte del not. I did not. Ah, yes, I did not. Y como el did, por ponerlo en otras palabras, guys, el did lo que hace es convertir la oración en pasado, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Entonces el verbo ya no va en pasado, va en su forma presente. Base form. That's correct, el base form. O como otra persona le dice, infinitive form, right? Uh -huh. I did not want to, use, want to use firecrackers. Ah, firecrackers. Uh -huh. I did not want to use them, right? Or, for example, hagamos la otra. I did not, y es más, if you want to use it in the contracted form, that's yeah. okay too. Mm -hmm. The RC car, right? You want uh, out the car. I didn't want a dog for Christmas. Pecado, mentiras. <laughs> Que no querían un perrito. No, mentiras. I love, I love animals. Right? So, pueden utilizarlo en su forma uh, base. I'm sorry. Sin contractar y contractado. A eso me quería referir. Sorry. So, you can use it contracted or um, in the regular form. Right? Mm -hmm. Eso es todo. Eso lo convierte ya en negativo para pasado. Right? Lo que tienen que recordar también es de que el verbo en esta ocasión iría en su forma base, ¿sí? Aquí va en su forma base. Entiendo, Tuca. Y aquí va, como es positivo, aquí ya va sí. en la forma de pasado simple. All right? I didn't, I didn't do this today. That's correct. That's a correct um, example. All right? It goes the same here, right? Pasa lo mismo acá. Le voy a poner el mismo ejemplo a este. I talked with my neighbors yesterday. ¿Cómo sería, cómo sería negativa ese, guys? I talked with my neighbors yesterday. Which one? La segunda. Esta que dice, I talked with my negative. neighbors. Ajá, uh -huh, negative. I didn't, I didn't talk. Talk. Mm -hmm. I didn't talk with my neighbors yesterday. Perfect, yes. right? And that's it. Eso es todo. Esa es la negativa. All right? I didn't talk with my neighbors yesterday, right? When, but it did not. It talk in su forma base. All right? That's right. You stole my word. <laughs> Es que no está hablando de ahí, por eso le van a robar las palabras. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But that's correct. I didn't talk with my neighbors yesterday. And that's it. All right? Y eso es todo. Ya la hizo, ya la hizo en, en pasado. Right? And that's it. Digamos, hagamos la de Chalatenango. ¿Quién me puede decir cómo sería en, en negativo? I lived in Chalatenango for five years. I did live in Chalatenango for five years. There you go. I didn't live. Oops, sorry. In okay. Chalate. The verb by base form. That is right. For five years. I didn't live in Chalate for five years. I can't confuse. All right, Chalatenango. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I didn't live in Chalatenango for five Chilate. years. <laughs> yes, ya lo he escrito así también. Sorry. Yes, toda confundida estoy con esos nombres. I'm sorry. Como que no vivo aquí, qué barbaridad. Ajá, eso le pregunta si estoy de aquí, de El Salvador. Sí, es lo peor. Uh -huh. Que soy de aquí y me confundo toda. All right. So, es que hay nombres que. Bueno, Chalate no es raro, pero hay nombres no. que sí son raros. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. all right. So, digamos la última. At my, I met my wife a long time ago. ¿Cómo sería en pasado? 
I didn't meet my I, wife a long time. I because I go eh, desaparece. How do you say? Because I go, I go ya is is not necessary in the sentences. Yes, it's not necessary. Um, it's mm -hmm. not necessary, but you can use it. Pero la puedo utilizar. Because mm -hmm. maybe it was not long, a long time ago. Maybe it was um, a couple of years ago, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Porque aquí lo que estamos diciendo es que no es que fue hace mucho tiempo. Puede decir, puede que se refiere que fue hace poquito. Y también hace poquito es bien subjetivo, porque para mí hace poquito puede ser cinco años, Y para gente hace poquito puede ser hace tres meses. <laughs> right? uh -huh. So, that's okay. Lo podemos dejar así o lo puedo dejar al otro. I didn't meet my wife a long time ago. Right? Y este caso, como es verbo irregular, I'm sorry que se los metí aquí y estábamos hablando solo de regulares. Pero eh, como es regular, vuelve a su forma base. Right? So, that's it. All right. I didn't meet my wife a long time ago. Forma base, pero lo puesto con doble e. Yes, eh, con la met. Met. Uh -huh. Es el pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, met. yes, yes. Yes, es el presente. Sí, por eso le dije. I'm sorry que que lo puse acá porque solo estaba viendo regular y después y se me olvidó. Okay, okay. So yes, pero sí, eso lo veríamos esto mismo. Lo veríamos Next mañana, class. pero con irregular, con irregular verbs. Uh -huh. All right. So, casi no queda tiempo para que practiquemos, guys. Uh -huh. so, you will just have 10 minutes. Solo van a tener 10 minutos. Voy a guardar la imagen para enviárselas a WhatsApp. What do I want you to do? I want you to think, I want you just to use these verbs. Quiero que me utilicen solo estos verbos. Ok. Y oh, por el momento... No vamos a hacer preguntas porque no se las he enseñado. What I want you to do is just to say things you've done, cosas que hayan dicho, utilizando esos verbos. I'm sorry, cosas que hayan hecho using just those verbs, all right? Mm -hmm. Utilizando solo esos verbos que les he puesto ahí. Creo que nos alcanza el tiempo, son como 12 minutitos que mm -hmm. tenemos, all right? So I'm going to separate you by groups, like I always do. Y para que tengan tiempo de... Todos practicar los voy a poner en pareja, all right? Para que no se tomen mucho tiempo, all right? So please accept the invitation and let's go practice. Oh, wait, un par de personas se desconectaron. Hey, chair. Dígame. Uh, I I want to uh, I want to do a question and pass. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, sería. Did you, for example, did you cook yesterday or, or no? That is correct. Para hacer, vaya, vea, si gustan, veamos cómo se hacen las preguntas y hacemos la práctica esta mañana. ¿Qué dicen? Porque, porque les quedaría no, no un puedo. poquito de tiempo sí, para la no práctica. Podemos. Sí, porque a veces cuando usted dice que, que hablemos, o sea, que practiquemos, Mm, a veces el otro no habla porque quizás no sabe cómo, cómo qué preguntar o algo, entonces quizás por eso. Vale, chivo. Entonces, para las preguntas, guys, voy a borrar solo esto de aquí, ¿ok? No se preocupen si no lo copiaron, yo se los envío al chat, ¿ok? So, como dijo Astrid, making questions, it's actually pretty simple. Um, se puede hacer de dos maneras. You can use... Um, you can use did, all right, to make questions with past simple, all right? For example, whatever I do. Okay. Did she play soccer, right? questions in past simple guys you use did okay and the verb in base form okay vamos a poner aquí en paréntesis
Siempre tiene que ir para preguntas en pasado. Si vamos a utilizar el did. Solo si vamos a utilizar el did. The verb needs to go in the base form. All right. Did she play soccer? All right. Um, let's see. Did she... La pregunta que hicimos de Chalatenango. Right. Did you live in Chalatenango? Right. Question mark. Entonces, ¿cómo sería si ustedes le quieren hacer hacerlo fórmula, por decirlo así? The formula would be did <laughs> plus noun plus noun plus verb is form. Vamos a hacer más grande. Plus Complement plus question mark. Así sería, ¿ok? If you want to make it a formula, right? Si lo queremos hacer fórmula para hacer preguntas. If you want to use did too, all right? Si es que did quieren uh, utilizar para hacer las preguntas. However, there is another one you can use for questions. If you don't want to use did, guys, all right? For example, um, there are some questions. Right? No, pongámoslo, pongámoslo de otra manera. There are okay. some. Lo voy a poner de otra manera. But some questions, si sí, se escucha mejor así. With who, okay, often don't use it, right? ¿A qué me refiero con esto? For example, um, who discover Who discover America? Ya sabemos que Cristóbal Colón no lo descubrió, pero digamos que sí. Okay. So, who discover America? Right? En este caso, si utilizamos el who, debemos ponerle otro color. Me gusta que pispilé, digamos. We use who? Como no hay un did que nos convierta la oración a pasado, aquí sí va el verbo en pasado. All right? So, if we, for example, make it a formula, would be who plus verb in simple past plus complement plus question mark. All right? Y así sería. Esta sería la formulita, right? Who, o por ejemplo, si les preguntan después. Who was your teacher, right? Si se fijan, el verbo va en su forma de pasado simple, sí o no. Porque como digamos, en otras palabras, guys, el did, this one, what it does, it translates the question to past. All right? It transforms it. Si lo quieren decir de una manera más simple, lo que hace el did es convertir la oración en pasado. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que ya el verbo, verbo, cualquier verbo que utilicen, ya no va a ir en pasado. Va a ir en su forma base. All right? So, did she play soccer? Did you live in Chalatenango? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué pasó, perdón? Uh, okay, all right. So, for example, did she play soccer? Did you live in Chalatenango? What it does is that it converts the, um, the question to past, all right? 
Piénsalo de manera simple. Lo que hace el did es traducir la oración en pasado. Y como la está traduciendo en pasado, ya el verbo ya no tienen que ponerlo en pasado. ¿Ok? Did she play? No did she played. Right? Solo play. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? Is y este es el... That's correct. Base form. And it leave, you leave it like that. Y, se, y así se deja. All right? So, ¿qué dice Dave? So, yes, lo de las pronunciaciones, that's correct. Mm -hmm. So, we don't need to transform the verb to pass when we use it, right? That is correct. With this one, guys, you don't have to convert it to past. Mm -hmm. If you do, y si lo hacen, that is incorrect. Okay? Si lo hacen, ahí se está incorrecto. And you don't, you don't do it. All right? Solamente se utilizan dos, eso lo van a ver hasta intermedio, pero solamente van a ir dos verbos en pasado participio, por ejemplo, cuando estén hablando del pasado perfecto, pero eso todavía no lo van a ver. Ahorita, this is simple past. All right? All right. Yes. See, Dave, we don't, we, you, You don't need to transform the verb to past when you use did. Mm -hmm. All right? Pongámoslo aquí. It's not necessary. That is correct. It's not necessarily. And if you do, it's incorrect. You don't need to transform, translate, por decirlo así, the verb to past if you use did. Right? You don't, you don't have to. All right? La vamos a poner aquí abajo también. If you do, that is incorrect. Okay? Y si lo hacemos, eso está incorrecto. It's okay, Dave. Don't worry. I'm glad that I was able to clear that up. So, pongámoslo aquí. Right? You don't need to transform the verb. You don't need to translate the verb to past if you use did, all right? And if you do, that is incorrect, okay? Si lo hacen, eso está incorrecto, okay? So this is, uh, let's say that simple past is very simple, <laughs> okay? El pasado simple es bien simple. Es de lo, por decirlo así, es de las formas más fáciles de aprenderse del pasado. Because the other two forms are pretty complicated, but not that complicated, all right? Yes, but uh, was, were, it, I, I consider it, it's difficult. Yes, that the hardest part is to learn past participle, uh, pero no lo van a ver todavía, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, porque, por ejemplo, um, intermediate so, is, is the next model, no. Yes. The level or the next. <laughs> You are, let me see, you are on beginner. ¿En qué nivel están? Quiero ver. Módulo 3. Creo que les falta un módulo. Si no okay. me equivoco, les falta uno más y luego van a intermedio. Si no okay. me equivoco. Mm -hmm. So yes, don't worry. Right now, don't worry. This is um, the simple pass for verbs and for um, regular verbs, all right? I don't know, Amilcar. <laughs> They decide that later on. Ellos, eh, Insafor decide cómo asignar los, los profesores. But it's okay. All of us are uh -huh. pretty good. Todos somos buenos, guys. Todos les enseñamos súper bien. That's, that's, that's okay. Y aún, si no soy... Y, y aún, si no soy yo, de todas maneras me pueden preguntar. All right? I don't, uh -huh. I don't mind. No, no me importa. Ustedes me pueden molestar. Okay? So, so far so good, guys. Hoy solo los regulares. Mañana uh -huh. vamos a ver los irregulares y ya les voy a mandar la, la lista. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Forever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can be your teacher forever. Don't worry. Yes. Yes. No, you can ask teacher. me. Thank you, Astrid. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yes, right. you are very patient. It's it, it very important. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah, I, I try to be patient. Porque a mí me hubiera gustado que me tuvieran paciencia. <laughs> right? So, yes. yo tengo paciencia a todos. Yes, don't mm -hmm. worry. Ok, guys. Un gusto haber estado con ustedes el día de hoy. Eh, mañana vamos a ver los irregulares. No se preocupen. Es casi lo mismo. All right? 
Y mañana okay. sí van a tener más tiempo de practicar. Okay? Okay. All right then. Thank you very much for joining the call today, guys. It's been a it's been a pleasure to see you and I hope to see you again. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Okay, good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Take care.